Wow. Ever since the leak of the llama model from Facebook, the internet has just been taking it and running with it. We now have another model that has um, been fine-tuned uh, and is based on llama. So first we had alpaca came out. Now we have vicuna. So vicuna is fine-tuned llama using data that was generated from GPT-4. And it's very, very close. They did uh, some analysis and they came up with a number and they say that it's 90% the quality of chat GPT. And this can be run, this can be run locally. Now this one does have higher requirements than than even uh, alpaca does, but it's very, very good. So let's try um, the classic example that I always do. Write a Discord bot in Python with slash commands. So hopefully this works. This website is kind of getting hit hard right now. Um, it's very popular. Hopefully when you try it out, uh, it'll be available. There's a little bit of a wait here as well. Okay, we're starting. Here's a basic example of a Discord bot written in Python with some basic slash commands. Yup, so far so good. This is, I can immediately tell this is better than um, at least Llama, and I think it's better than Alpaca. Yep, yeah, this is, this is better than Llama and Alpaca. I can say that right now just based off of my personal test. Llama and Alpaca probably would have got this far or maybe this far. Uh, and then it would have kind of lost track. But this one kept going. And I think that code would work uh, straight out of the box. I think you could put that in Python and run it. I, I'll have this link down in the description. And if you go to this page, they also have a link to their GitHub in their blog post and you can see by their evaluation it is about 92 percent as good as chat gpt and it's about as good as bard people have been um, making fun of bard it's not super super great compared to chat gpt because it kind of it declines your requests a lot but the fact that this model this vacuna model is uh, open source, you can completely get rid of all of those. And Llama and Alpaca come out of the box with no filters. Vicuna might have like residual filters because it was trained on GPT-4, but I think OpenAI does more in the background that we don't see to further filter the answers. So I still think that uh, even if you use Vicuna, it will be less filtered than chat gpt or gpt4 or whatever um but yeah this is really impressive it's really exciting seeing all of this open source stuff going on ever since the leak of llama and this stuff is only going to get cheaper it's only going to get easier and i hope that i can aid in the process of getting this stuff to be easier at least you know and bringing it to people like you and me my Discord bot is already using Llama right now, and it has no filters. We've already tested that out. But I'm working on figuring out ways of how to train Llama uh, so that I can have a custom Discord bot that, uh, you know, answers frequently asked questions and stuff like that. And uh, maybe we could bring it to other servers in the future. Uh, but I think we're a little bit, a little ways away from that. I'm still researching it. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and it's it's really exciting, but it's also kind of overwhelming. Um, so I'm just trying to boil it all down for you guys, and hopefully I'll have a video here soon about how to train a llama model. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching.